Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else over here. Noise actually sounds very pretty underwater. Like if you hum to yourself, but yeah, if you open your mouth to... You get a bunch of bloom, 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 bloom happening at the same time. Obviously you can't inhale though, you have to do everything in one breath and then go up for air. Humans should be amphibians. <laughs> I don't even know if there's... Oh, oh, hello. Several flowers. Okay, we haven't been over here. This this is for sure it's a place I haven't been to. I've just been wandering slightly lost. Oh. Nope. Need to be higher for that one, I suppose. That should probably get that big bloom. Do they connect at the center? Ah, uh, but you need more butterflies and you don't have them on this side. And I think I just need more platforming. Mm -hmm. Wow, Wes. Which is hard. There you go. Yeah, it's hard to do platforming upside down. So do you want to jump to the one uh, on the right and then use that one to jump to the one on... Yeah, yeah, jump to the one on the right. Oh, yeah. And then go through. There we go. Then you got to that side. Oh, and you okay. can sing here. Way flowers. I don't think there's actually much of a point to said flowers. It's nice to make everything bloom, though. It's true. I feel like these are grapes, but they're probably not. If they are grapes, this probably smells wacky. Oh. Oh, a nebula. Is the end of the universe? Oh. A stairway. So yeah, I guess there is another big bloom over on the right side. Mm. I thought this was just bonus, you know, exploration for the uh, for the collectibles, but no, this is actually, like, progression. I am unbelievably lost. I, the level design with this game gets me. I, I don't know. Uh, some games I can have just perfect... Uh, not recall, but, like, I'll know exactly where I am at all times. There's the occasional game like this where I'm just like, oh, I don't know where I am or how I'm going anywhere. Okay, now I know where we are. Let's see, I don't think there's anything else in this area. No. I don't see any blooms that can be... No blooms, no waterfalls. Opened. And maybe make that bird open. I seriously think that if that's you making the noise. Huh? It sounds exactly like some of the, like, bird callish noises that you can make. Mm. Yeah, because they're implying that you could get over, like, oh. here-ish. You're that. Yeah, but I got, like, a constellation thing from this area, so I, I don't really know where I'm supposed to be. You can... What are you... You said there was another... Oh, you wanted to go to, back down to the other blooms? Yeah. Okay. If I can get to it. Yeah, because there's another one over here. Mm -hmm. that, that might lead you to get to. another star. Yeah, there's probably something directly above where we currently are. Because I think we had just dropped down into the water. I don't think we've been this way. Oh, there's a point right in there. Can you sing to those flowers? Oh, you missed the opportunity to sing to those flowers. Sorry, we'll go back. Okay. I just didn't know if I could like drop down to it or 
ex I mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, sing to these flowers. Mm -hmm. Here it goes. Oh. Sing? Oh. It released it. Somehow. I broke it. Oh, oh no. Oh, whoa. Huh. It became a spider mech. That's unexpected. Yeah? Oh, but there's the big bloom. It'll take you there. Yeah, okay. So this isn't a bonus thing, this is a... Paw. Huh. Yeah, so it's following me. Ish. Oh, you can sing to some flowers around here. Yep. I don't think there's necessarily a reason to. Yeah. But I'll keep doing it. Oh, by spider mech. I thought you were... Oh, I like how those are akin to glowing lilies. Though they don't have uh, pads. Oh. Ah, oh, there you go. Uh, or? Can you sing to that one? Probably not. It looks like a no. plant. It's it's a it's leaf. a normal pant, plant. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Do robo spiders count for arachnophobia? Yes. <laughs> Can confirm. Yes. It only had four legs, though. Eh, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> the thought that spooks. There's more. Oh, it oh, lit it up the grapes too. Which were like I would call it less grapey. Myrtle or ivy or Probably, hanging wisteria. But it, it just makes me think of like I, I've been playing grapes. too much Hades lately. <laughs> Is that a moth or something? Oh. Beetle. Uh Ah, there you go. I'ma take your soul, creature. Nope. Is that going to open up to be, like, another larger beetle? Yeah. There it goes. Yeah, except for it's... upside downish. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to get on it from the other side. Oh, come back! <sighs> I need you for things. Oh, what was I talking about? I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, I've been playing... Wait. Oh. Grapes. You've been seeing too many grapes. Yeah, in Hades. Well, not grapes, but, you know, it just reminds me of, like, for whatever reason, Greek mythology always shows, like, Mount Olympus. And they've just got, like, gross amount of grapes just <laughs> hanging everywhere, and it's just like, nobody eats all these. Wine, remember. Wine. Yeah. I guess it really is Bacchus. It's <laughs> all Bacchus's fault. Vineyards, and I, I just love grapes on their own. Blame Bacchus. Dionysus. Is there a difference between Dionysus and Bacchus? They're equivalents. Okay. Remember? Greek oh, to Roman. Greek to Roman. Got it. I always liked all the Greek names more. Maybe that's just a preference of mine, but I think it's also due to the fact that we decided to name our planets after the Roman <laughs> versions. Yeah. So it's nice to distinguish them by using the Greek. Though Dionysus was not important enough to receive a planet. That's an interesting point. Open your butt, bird! It's possible that he could be a moon, but now that I think about it, most of the moons are named after figures that are associated with the planet. So I think most of Jupiter's moons are actually Zeus's or Jupiter's conquests. That's why you have Io and Europa and you know what I'm getting at? So it's mostly his lovers. What are you That's What are you making a face about? Kind of amusing. And I think Saturn's might be Titans. Cuz Saturn himself 
was the Titan I Kronos. Where I am. And then, you know that Pluto's is Charon. Yeah. That makes sense, because he was the ferryman of the River Styx. Neptune's, I believe, were all... I don't... Maybe all of Neptune's daughters, like the Nereids, or the ocean spirits, or... Ah, uh, I forget. I did a project oh. a long, long time ago in middle school. I, it was funny. We were supposed to choose a topic, and I chose the moons. And my teacher goes, the moons? You mean all of the moons? Or the moon? Well, like, you surely mean just the moon. And I go, no. I mean all the moons. Every single one. And she was like, oh no. Because <laughs> there are so many of them. I made this huge chart with every single one. The planet that belonged to, their name, their size, a distinguishing feature, the year they were discovered. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was weirdly obsessed with Planet X. Planet X. The planet beyond the solar system or yeah. considered a very, very it's distant a satellite. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a thing. Okay, I think we're done. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of extra... Uh, but I don't know how to get back, actually. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to just keep going up, right? Up the boughs of the tree? Yeah. I must not be angling it right. Yeah, there we go. I guess we just jump up. I'm curious what all these, like, bonus things necessarily net us. I'm sad that they declassified Pluto as a planet. It's a small Oh, we needed these planet. to turn this, to open this up. I got it. I was mm. wondering about explore, uh, why we had to do all that extra bonus exploration. The answer is constellation junk. Hey, it's not junk. Oh, I like that imagery. The whole circle's overlapping. Looks like we've got a you got, yeah, straight path. You have a path. Question is, can I get up that last bit? Because it doesn't look like there's any constellation points. So there. Oh, butterflies right there on the right. You can sing to them. Do you want to try to backtrack a little bit just to see? Uh, we can't. You can? No, it's all locked off. Oh, well, it all got flipped upside down, you mean, right? Uh, no, I mean, like, there's roots and stuff in the way. Mm hmm Don't tell me the guy's back. And by guy, I mean the evil creature. It is, isn't it? What shape will it take this time? An eyeball. No, or a face. A face. It's herself. Ugh. I wonder if it's kind of your own self doubt or. Hmm.
Are you in control? Floating through this? Yep. What happens if I get crushed? Eh. Nothing. Looks like you're in front of it. So these must be the parts of the... Yeah, there it is. It's parts of the statue. know what I'm supposed to be doing. Navigating the Merc, I suppose. There seem... Oh, that, that's the end yeah, of the screen. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Except for we don't seem to have fish form. So. Oh. What does that say? Apoc Acceptance. Acceptance. Oh. I wonder how it's many. It's like a sarcophagus. I wonder how many achievements I'm going to miss playing through this. Oh. Well, why you can play through it again? Yeah, I don't know if I will. I mean, if I get to keep all my powers, I wouldn't mind going back just to grab all of the missing bits. Mm -hmm. Just because. Oh. It's a chunk over there, but no, it doesn't look like there's any means for me to get there. The mist becomes denser. So yeah, this could be like the stages of grief or... Mm -hmm. Which is fine. I think the reason why I was so mad at Rhyme was because they presented an interesting world that seemed plausibly, like, possible to exist in. Whereas in comparison, this is very much like a surreal trip. Mm -hmm. So it's easier for me to accept this as such. Oh. Do you sing there? In the hand? It reassembles it. Again. Yes. 
so pretty. Very pretty. Those tiny little hands freak me out. <laughs> All right. I am just lost. Don't worry. I don't think this game is really meant to be like directly understood. Just kind of surreal, symbolic. Pain, loss, acceptance, rebuilding yourself after something catastrophic. Could be any number of these things. Yeah, this game is wallpaper the game. No user interface or anything. Save for like a couple of tutorials and even then. If there's anything that brightens my mood, it's beautiful music. It's one of those universal languages too. It's art for me. That too. Game I miss singing. Too pretty. Sing! Yeah, but part of it is we're living in an apartment. You don't want to be too loud. True. Sing into a pillow. <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> but no one will mind. This was pleasant. Wasn't very long. I wonder if there was something more with 100% completion, but... I could see. The main problem is just like... <laughs> Your face right now. I don't know. I It would have been nice if you could backtrack and like go get it yourself, especially with all the, uh, the extra powers. Um, like... Would have been neat to go back. At the same time, I I don't know. I'd be disappointed if it was one of those where you got the true ending only by collecting all the the random hidden MacGuffins, because like that's always just a little bit disappointing. Uh, but if that's the case, then that's that's the case. I I don't know. A lot of these last names look like they're Spanish or Portuguese. Can't tell. Yeah. It was an absolutely gorgeous game. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. Music was great. The gameplay was nice. I like the different color themes, how more colors added to the palette as time went on. The different environments, the mechanics. And how I always like it in a game where you acquire one me mechanic or one new move set, and then you apply that additively throughout the rest. Yeah. And I think it was the right amount, the right length mm -hmm. for, you know, what it was. And also all the hand-drawn animation. Too. Yeah, yeah, that it's must have definitely... taken forever. But like in a good way, not in the like, I don't know. What is the prettiest game for us? Hollow Knight. Maybe like Journey and a couple other... Like, really pretty low-poly games. I'm really digging Ashen right now. Ashen has a beautiful visual style. This one's up there. I think the only thing is I, I needed more, like, uh... I needed, like, the ending of of Journey. Like, at the very end of Journey, when you've, when you've done everything, you've got this moment where you're just flying amongst the mountains and the clouds and stuff. And that, like, super triumphant Austin Wintry, like, yeah, soundtrack. Um, but... In this case, I think it was fine. Rhyme was beautiful. Just... The story was disappointing. Because I like this one because they don't pull the curtain back. Mm -hmm. You know? It's like something happened. And maybe you can read it in more. Like, read into it more. At the end, you don't have a scene where she wakes up in her own bed and it's yeah. the real world or something. Yeah, or in a hospital or in a, in a sad-looking room or next to somebody else or who knows what. Mm -hmm. It just kind of leaves it up to you, and I'm, I'm sure an ending. Yeah. maybe there is some proper way to see, uh, like, what what the story was. I'm fine with this. This would be something that I would put in a museum. You know, just like a TV, some nice speakers, and a controller. And just let anybody and everybody play it. <laughs> I would love to have 
like an idea of how they came about with creating the aesthetic and the like a concept art book, I suppose. Yeah, an art book like, for this game would be nice. Because mm -hmm. you can tell they put a lot of work into every single component. Everything, yeah. This was absolutely some serious effort went into this. And we're getting that soundtrack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the end. Achievement unlocked. Yep. Oh, chapters. Okay, so we can go back to the chapters we missed. And there are different scenes, and that will probably allow you to get the last few. So you had gotten all of them from that. Yeah. I'm just going to bop in. I want to see if I still have all of my abilities. No. Okay. So we're still back at red. So if I wanted to get all of them, I could. Um, okay, good. And we can we can do chapter select freely. So if there is something at the end of this, uh, or some kind of rolled over my own court, if there is uh, some kind of bonus thing uh, that I haven't gotten because of the because I've missed the little MacGuffins, then I can go back and take a look. I don't think I'm going to do it today, just because that will take some effort. Uh, and we got other things to play. But if not, that's okay. And obviously, it's on Steam if you want to pick it up too. I recommend it. It was. Well worth the, what, three hours we put into it? Yeah, it was three hours. That wasn't oh. bad. No, I, at the instant I saw it at the convention, I was, really want to play this game. I really want to experience. I should have let you play, maybe. Yeah, no, that's true. Oh, well. I, I mean, I, on... the, I get to ramble on. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to focus on gameplay so I can be the driver. Anyway, anything else you want to say? Hmm. I also really like, aside from the way they handled the creatures and the environments and the platforms themselves, just really like the abstract, the, the as I said, this whole orbit and the constellations and such. Yeah. I always like working the celestial aspects, the sky, but not into things. Yeah. The moon, you know. I, I don't know. I, it's just such a pretty game. Yeah. Absolutely enjoyed it. All right. Well, thanks everyone for, uh, for watching Gris, joining us for Gris. I don't know. We'll see you guys next time.